J-Lo. What's really behind the split? One of the distinct advantages that my work provides you with is the ability to see certain behaviours and actually translate it as to what's actually going on. By recognising once somebody has been assessed as a narcissist, it enables you then to see their behaviour through the prism of their narcissism, which brings with it understanding and clarity. This provides many people with peace of mind. They now understand why this person does as they do, particularly in relation to them personally. Nevertheless, it is still useful for unlocking, deciphering, and interpreting the behaviours of other people, even though you might not have any actual day-to-day involvement with them. For instance, as a consequence of the apparent demise of the relationship between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, Eric Anderson writes in The People, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's marriage is not in the best place at the moment. Sounds like a euphemism. A source connected to Lopez reveals. The talk of issues between the air actor-director 51 and the waiting for tonight singer 54, who have been living apart from each other recently, comes less than two years after they eloped in Las Vegas and celebrated with a reception in Georgia that Lopez described as a dream. The haste at which that happened, of course, is a consequence of the golden period, that period of seduction, whereby here, as it's a situation of two narcissists colliding, that they were both infatuated with one another. They both sought to assert control over the other by engaging in flattery by engaging in compliments, because they both saw the other as a soulmate, that they both saw the other as absolutely amazing and wonderful. And thus, you had a situation whereby these two narcissists collided in a particularly powerful way. Seen through their narcissistic lens, the other individual has no flaws, they're painted white. And it isn't just one person seeing the other person that way, but both of them seeing one another that way, with the result that it compels them to come together with immeasurable haste. However, People reports reality is now settling in, as the charismatic Lopez and the more reserved Affleck deal with their differing personalities and different views on what to share about their personal lives. Now, you're going to hear what's expressed to be part of the reason or the main reason why the relationship has floundered. And then I'm going to explain to you what really lies behind what has been suggested. She likes to open her heart to her fans and to the world, a music source says of Lopez. Lack of boundary recognition through oversharing. She's residing in the couple's $60 million Beverly Hills marital home, while Affleck bunks in a rental a few miles away. He is more private. This has been a difficult day to day. Their differences were laid bare in Lopez's The Greatest Love Story Never Told, a documentary she filmed while making the movie This Is Me, now a love story, grandiosity. In the doc, which debuted on Prime Video in February, Affleck talked about rekindling their romance in 2021, 17 years after their high-profile relationship fell apart under the weight of Benefer mania. Now, it didn't fall apart as a consequence of that mania. That's blame-shifting. It fell apart because two narcissists collided and they needed to assert control over one another with the resultant effect that this triggered disengagement. Getting back together, Affleck said, Listen, one of the things I don't want is a relationship on social media, said Affleck, who shares children, Violet 18, Serafina 15 and Sam 12, with ex-wife Jennifer Garner, age 52. Then I sort of realised it's not a fair thing to ask. It's sort of like you're going to marry a boat captain and you go, well, I don't like the water. He added that he and Lopez, who has, a six, who has 16-year-old twins Max and Emmy, with ex-husband Mark Antony, were two people with different kinds of approaches trying to learn to compromise. Despite Affleck's participation in The Greatest Love Story Never Told and other projects like her 2002 music video for Jenny from the Block, a film source says he's never been completely comfortable showcasing his romance with Lopez to the world. But at the same time, he has never wanted to stand in the way of who she is as an artist 
He's always been impressed about how she works hard, so hard and has achieved so much success, says the film's source. But the openness and promotion is not his way. Lopez, who self-financed This Is Me Now, A Love Story, and the documentary, is launching a 30-show North American tour this summer to promote her new film This Is Me Now. Can get irked that Affleck is not as structured or disciplined in general, as Jennifer says the film source. This is not a bad thing, but it causes frustration. The film source says it's too soon to say what will happen to the couple. I don't know if they will split or if it is something they will work through. One thing is certain, they have problems. Nevertheless, they share a deep bond that spans two decades. The music source says there have always been clashes in their styles and how they handle issues, but nothing has stopped their love over the years. Well, they're both narcissists, so they can't love one another because they don't have any emotional empathy. Now, Affleck has put it out there that essentially he's more reserved than her and that he's uncomfortable with her essentially sharing their relationship on social media. What that really means is it feels like a threat to control to him because she is the one that's making decisions about sharing information about him and their relationship with other people, presumably without seeking his consent. Now, Many of you may well think, well, I'm not a narcissist and I don't think I'd like my relationship being shared across social media. Indeed, you would not. But your reasons for it are different to those of Affleck. He, as a narcissist, doesn't like it because it threatens his need for control. He's the one to decide if he shares the relationship. He's the one who decides what information is put out. It is not for her to do so because that makes him feel insignificant. There would be some that, of course, might think, well, surely you should be flattered that she wants to tell the world all about your relationship. But remember, they've gone beyond the golden period, and this whole sharing of information is viewed through the lens of devaluation and therefore is seen as very much a threat to control. She does it because she has no boundary recognition. She does it because she has no sense of accountability. She does it because she's looking to assert control over an audience and draw fuel from them. Therefore, she does this without any due regard for the impact it might have upon Ben Affleck because she has no emotional empathy for him and her needs must come ahead of his. He objects to it because it subconsciously feels like a threat to control and as a consequence of that, his narcissism tells him she's doing something that you should not approve of. Then you should express that disapproval and maybe it's even viewed as her proving too difficult to control, and that's amounted to a disengagement trigger. The fact is, the reason that she wants to share the relationship with the world at large and he's less inclined to do so isn't actually the reason behind the split. What's behind it is that those activities represent a need for control on her part and a threat to control to Athlake and is deemed as such a threat to control, it may well have triggered disengagement. As ever, by understanding that this is a dynamic between two narcissists, you can see behind the information that is given to understand what is truly going on. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.